Okay, hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is right after I finished my last uh, closet video. So that's why I look the same and I have greasy hair and I'm a total mess, but uh, <laughs> it's hard to do everything. And today is an unpacking day for me. So I'm trying to get as much done while she's sleeping. Um, so yeah, today <laughs> you are going to see me mm -hmm. unpacking my vest collection, my jacket collection. Mm -hmm. So hope you like this video and let's do this. So I'm taking some ham hangers and I have my box with my vests. So I thought we would go from vest to jacket. So I'm going to show you my leather vest. This I had for a million years almost uh, with the Saxon logo on the back. The fun story about this is that I found it uh, in a dog store, like for dogs uh, <laughs> or animal. What do you call it? Pet store. Yeah, a pet store in the back. She was like seamstress, uh, the person who owned the store. So. <laughs> I just saw this like through because she had the door open. I was like, can I just check your things back there? They are so cool. And she was like, yeah, I, I usually used to sell these types of things, but now they are just in storage. And I was like, uh, I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> so, yeah, story behind that. So this was a very oversized long jacket like down to your knees um, but I cut it off and I sew it into a 50-50 vest and with one arm like a jacket but it's like really cropped so if I don't have anything underneath it would be under boob so that's the look and then I have God Save Medusa Queen on the back and then we have this Iron Maiden vest I painted this I studied this I sew it into a vest. It was a really ugly beige mocha, not a cool one, just really like uh, second hand. Like second hand. But you can just drop that one. You can just drop this one. Long. A really ugly jacket from uh, a thrift thrift store. <laughs> the second hand store. Anyway, um, so I just save this for like 20 bucks no 10 max like it was so cheap um because it was so ugly and it was also oversized it was like too big for me i'm a small and this was maybe a large so i made it into a cropped vest as well long story short it's cool cropped jeans jacket i made into a vest i was still put a bunch of, um, I think I will paint this black and have patches on it. Stop me if you think it's a bad idea. <laughs> then I have my battle vest. Really cool, huh? And the battle vest, I always have the yellow hanger on. I don't know why, but I just, yeah. I just cool do that. Like that. Then cool, yeah. Huh? Yeah. More, more. So that's my vests. Night uh, that a wasp. <laughs> uh, so that's my vest collection. Uh, it's a pretty small one, but those are great pieces, and you can go a long way with the just those. I'm gonna hang them in. Let's go, sweeties. Let's go. Hi you guys, I was on my way to say that but uh, 
Okay, you guys, so I'm always on my way to say hi guys once again because I'm <laughs> doing this separate because this is another day than the last time I did. Uh, but now I have a slot because she's sleeping, my husband and my son is taking the trash out and I have my jackets left to put out in my wardrobe and then I'm finally done with the clothes. So, pray that we fit everything inside my closet, that every hanger is enough, okay? And then maybe that I have one hanger left because I have one jacket on the way in the mail. I have my beautiful classic leather jacket. I got this as a teenager. Uh, I bought it from a friend. It's It's been through a lot of things. Parties, drunk times, stupid decisions. And then we have this secondhand store, real 70s mocha jacket. I love this. Um, I barely worn it yet, but I will. I will. I never worn this, but I mean, you need to have a yellow biker jacket in your closet. That is some kind of suede material. Um, I will wear this. I, I promise you, I will. And of course you need a denim jacket. That's a must in our closet that we have. And we have my other denim jacket with patches. So this is my battle jacket. And the most of the patches I painted myself because I'm a cheap fuck who ha can't afford real patches. And for the real patches that I do have, they are, these are actually uh, original from like the 80s around that time. Um, and the other ones are just gifts from friends that don't want them. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna put that on my jacket. We have this badass. This was a long jacket before this is cropped. This was down to my knees, uh, but I cropped it and I sew it and I put a back patch with a Swedish punk band and we have Gigi Allen, King Diamond and Led Zeppelin. There's no real theme, <laughs> no genre of music on my jackets. I mix whatever I want with everything I like. My favorite jacket. I wear this a lot. Lots of studs, a leopard print, and punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is cool. This is my favorite for sure. Uh, not baby friendly. You can't have that on when you have a baby. <laughs> so it has to wait a few months. And another favorite of mine. Plated. A lot of studs. Uh, all the jackets I've uh, studded and sewn myself. Uh, like I had sewn this myself, the whole jacket, but I uh, I sewed it um, uh, smaller because it was too big for me. And I've pretty much done that to every jacket. Like I have done some changes in it because it has to fit me like a glove. Otherwise I won't wear it. Then I have this. This I haven't edited in any way because this fit me like a glove, just the way it is. So this is just like the, this is, this is my only basic leather jacket with a black inside and this is cropped like it's like goes to your waist like your belly button or something one of my favorites as well and then i have this it's also kind of cropped it's a bit longer um 
but it has the classic red inside and this I always have folded up because it's fucking metal and you need to be cool when you go outside so you can show people that you're true a true metalhead and then you have to like show the red <laughs> and then yay my boyfriend's jacket that's going downstairs though not in my closet no 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 and then we have the coolest one. I had to protect this from the other so it doesn't get stains or anything. Um. <laughs> this is so plastic. You've probably seen on my Instagram my photo shoot I did in this. This is like. This is a plastic pink see-through see-through uh, biker jacket and it's the coolest shit ever can't wait for summer to wear this and being badass I hope corona will disappear so we can go to festivals and concerts and oh I forgot I have a baby no festivals but maybe concerts um, because then I can just go into town, go on for a concert, then come home and then my mom can take her. Yeah, I hope. I hope. Cross your finger guys. We want summer without Corona. Summer without Corona. Summer without Corona. Right? I want that. Uh, my boyfriend's spiker jacket. Um, Ooh. My suede fringe mocha uh, studded biker jacket. <laughs> Very 80s style. I've sewn this a little bit in the waist to like fold it in a bit. So it got this real 80s style. Love. Love, 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 love. And then we have the original, the punk jacket from my youth. <laughs> uh, I had this for a long time. Before that, my best friend had, had it. Um, and then I got it from her because she uh, was kind of over this type of style. She found herself and what she wanted to be. <laughs> As a grown woman, and then I got this, and I'm super happy because I'm still teenager in my heart. I can't let go of punk and metal. Like, I'm going to be this way forever. I'm too weird to be normal. And then I see that this jacket has got some. She's sick. No, but seriously, when I packed this, um, she was totally fine. She, she yeah. Um, but now she's not. <laughs> but I, I mean, she got some battle wounds. I mean, you see this. This is like all over the jacket now. Or kind of like, yeah, pretty much all over um, where it's been folded. I didn't know it would react this way, but I feel like it, it it gives some character, right? We have up here in the neck back area. So yeah, some battle wounds, but I mean, I yeah, we'll see. I love her though. Okay, this made me kind of sad. But she's still working, I'm going to give her Maybe I can use some paint and just paint in those cracks. If you have a good idea, please write to me and I'll think about it. And then we have my original 80s vest that my mom did. She wore this when she was young. It's pretty cool, I think. Just a uh, like fabric. Very cool. Yeah, it might have been a curtain, <laughs> I don't know, 
but it's pretty cool. I love it. I don't like it, but this is uh, for my best collection, but it was back then. Anyway, the last one is this penguin suit. I don't know how to show it. I think you get it. It's, it's one of those that the guys wear on uh, very nice events. Um, but yeah, I got this from a friend and I think it's super cool. So I just want to have this um, with studs on. Then I can be very fancy going to prom. I was on my way to save that. Yeah, I'm too old. I'm too old for that. I can go to other nice events or just go outside and feel fancy. So yeah, I have that too. And yeah, we're going to hang it inside the closet and then this video is done. It's a pretty narrow space in here, but at least I can hang my stuff. I mean, I'm happy with that, but in the future I would like a mansion closet like Jeffree Star's The Vault, maybe. Um, <laughs> if I can dream big, that would be that would be it. But I wouldn't spend a lot of things, a lot of money on my like handbags like he does. I would spend my money on more studs and patches and jackets and shoes and pole wear. Yeah, please. This is it for this video. And in my next one, do not miss that, you will see me unpack my shoe collection. And the most of them are high heels that are to die for. So if you do like feet and shoes and shoes and shoes, then you should choose to watch that video do that anyway you may be the person that don't think I'm funny and then I'm like very sorry for this video because I'm super nervous because I get my family over tomorrow and I want everything to be perfect uh, but yeah anyway on a serious note you should subscribe you should and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next I love you.